all right everybody i'm back with another video in this video i just want to read you a story if you have time listen to this story and i give you the reason for it at the end but in the meantime it's going to come from the book of john chapter 4 let's start reading in verse 1 when therefore the lord knew how the pharisees had heard that jesus made and baptized more disciples than john Though Jesus himself baptized not, but his disciples, he left Judea and departed again into Galilee, and he must needs go through Samaria. Then coming he to a city of Samaria, which is called Sychar, near to the parcel of ground that Jacob gave to his son Joseph. Now Jacob's well was there. Jesus therefore being wearied with his journey, sat thus on the well, and it was about the sixth hour. There cometh the a woman of Samaria to draw water. Jesus said unto her, Give me drink. For his disciples were gone away unto the city to buy meat. Then said the woman of Samaria unto him, How is it that thou, being a Jew, exit drink of me, which am a woman of Samaria? For the Jews have no dealings with the Samaritans. Jesus answered and said unto her, If thou knewest the gift of God, and who it is that said to thee, Give me the drink, thou wouldest have asked of him, and he would have given thee living water. The woman said unto him, Sir, thou hast nothing to draw with, and the well is deep. From whence then hast thou that living water? Art thou greater than our father Jacob, which gave us the well, and drank thereof himself, and his children, and his cattle? Jesus answered and said unto her, Whosoever drinketh of this water, shall thirst again. But whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst. But the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. Now I want you to remember that the water that Jesus is going to give is going to be a well in him of water springing up into everlasting life. The woman said unto him, Sir, Give me this water that I thirst not, neither come hither to draw, neither come hither to draw. Jesus said unto her, Go, call thy husband, and come hither. The woman answered and said, I have no husband. Jesus said unto her, Thou hast well said, I have no husband, for thou hast had five husbands, and he whom thou now hast is not thy husband. In that saidest thou truly. The woman said unto him, Sir, I perceive that thou art a prophet. Our fathers worship in this mountain, and ye say that in Jerusalem is the place where men ought to worship. Jesus said unto her, Woman, believe me, the hour will come it, when ye shall neither in this mountain nor at Jerusalem worship the Father. Ye worship ye know not what. We know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. But the hour coming and now is when the true worshiper shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth, for the Father seeketh such to worship him. God is the spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. The woman said unto him, I know that when I know that Messiah cometh, which is called Christ, when he is come, he would tell us of all things. Jesus said unto her, I that speak unto thee am he. And upon this came his disciples, and marveled that he talked with the woman. Yet no man said, What seekest thou? Or why talkest thou with her? The woman then left her water pot, and went her way into the city, and said unto the men, Come, See a man which told me all things that I ever did, that ever I did, is not this the Christ? Then they went out of the city and came unto him. In the meanwhile, his disciples prayed him, saying, Master, eat. But he said unto them, I have meat to eat that you know not of. Therefore said the disciples one to another, Hath any man brought him aught to eat? Jesus said unto them, my meat is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish his work. Say 
not ye there are yet four months and then come at harvest behold I say unto you lift up your eyes and look on the fields for they are white already to harvest and he that reap it receive it wages and gather it fruit unto life eternal that both he that sow it and he that reap it may rejoice together and herein is that saying true one sow it and another reap it I sent you to reap that whereon ye bestowed no labor other men labored and ye are entered into their labors and many of the Samaritans of that city believed on him for the sayings of the woman which testified he told me all that I ever did so when the Samaritans were come unto him, they besought him that he would tarry with them, and he abode there two days. And many more believed because of his own word, and said unto the woman, Now we believe, not because of thy sins, for we have heard him ourselves, and know that this is indeed the Christ, the Savior of the world. So now the point of this video, the point of this story, what I want you to get is that Jesus said to this woman in verse 21, woman, believe me. And so after telling the woman to believe him, the woman goes down and said that she know that Messiah is coming. And when he come, he will tell us all things. And so this woman knew and understood that the Messiah was coming. She knew because of prophecy that God was sending someone. She knew from prophecy that God was sending someone who she knew is the Messiah. And so she knew that he would come and tell them all things. And so Jesus, talking with this woman, responds by telling her, the one that you were talking to, that's me. And so when we go back to this story, it tells us that the disciples end up coming. All right. And the woman went off into the city and she told the men, the one that told her, all things that she ever did and so those in the city those are Samaritans remember Jesus went into a city of Samaria called Sikar okay and so these people they come along and say this in verse 39 and many of the Samaritans of that city believed on him for the sayings of the woman so because of what the woman had said to them, how this man had told her all that she ever did, they believed on Jesus because of what the woman said. So the woman bared witness to what Jesus told her and the people believed based upon the woman's testimony, based upon the witness that the woman had bared. And so let's look back at 39. It says, And many of the Samaritans of that city believed on him for the sayings of the woman, which testified he told me all that I ever did. So when the Samaritans were coming to him, they besought him that he would tarry with them, and he abode there two days. So those Samaritans come along, and they desired that Jesus would stay with them for two days. In verse 11, and many more believed because of his own word. And so many believed when Jesus spoke, they believed. Okay. And so in verse 42, and said unto the woman. So verse 41 tells us, and many more believed because of his own word. So it's the words that he spoke. They believed. They believed because of what was coming out of his mouth. And said unto the woman, and this is what they told the woman. This is how they responded to that woman. They says, now we believe not because of thy sayings. So not because of just what you said. 
for we have heard him ourselves and know that this is indeed the Christ, the Savior of the world. So they heard the words of Jesus. They remembered the woman's words and what she said and how she testified how Jesus had told her all that she ever did. So they believed on him because of that. But once they heard Jesus for themselves, they believed on him because of they heard his own words. And so, and they confessed that Jesus was the Christ, the savior of the world. Now I want you to notice how they didn't say that Jesus was the father who had come down and is Christ. They knew and understood that this man they was talking to was Christ, the Messiah, the one that was sent to them. And so, and they believed Jesus. So the point I want you to understand is that you can believe the words of Jesus. So when Jesus says something about himself, you can only just believe it. We got to remember, Jesus says that I am the way, the truth, and the life in John 14, 6. So he says that I am the way. The way means that this is the only option to be saved, to get to the Father, to go to the kingdom of heaven, to dwell on the new earth. Okay? So that's, he said that he is the way. And he says he is the truth which means that in him is no lies because he is the opposite of a lie because he is the truth. And he says that he is the life, meaning he is the means by which any man can receive eternal life to live eternally with the Father. So I just want you to know that you can believe what Jesus say. If Jesus say he is the son of God, if he say that's who he is, you got to believe exactly what he say. So I want you to understand that 1 John 5 20 tells us, and we know that the son of God is come and had given us an understanding that we may know him that is true and we are in him that is true even in his son Jesus Christ so this he tells us John that the son of God has come and he has given us an understanding that we may know the father and that we may know him so you need to remember that when Jesus says something it's the truth. If he say, I am the son of God, I am the Christ, you believe exactly that. I don't care about what men may have taught you or what you may thought. You believe the words of Jesus because his words are true. So you learn the lesson of these Samaritans. Believe the words of Jesus. Jesus' words is written in this word. And so all you got to do is go to the book. If you got a red letter Bible, go into your Bible and read the scriptures on what Jesus said. And everything that Jesus says, you can believe. As a matter of fact, look at John 10, number 36. Jesus says, Say ye of him whom the Father has sanctified and sent into the world, thou blasphemest, because I say, I am the Son of God. So he said he's the Son of God. So the issue is, are you going to believe it? Or do you still want to say he's the Father? He's the one that the Father... Um, or do you still want to say that he is the Father who sent himself? But Jesus says, I am the Son of God. So if Jesus say, I am the son of God, well, Jesus, I believe you the son of God. And as you can see in scripture, many times that after Jesus had even resurrected and went to heaven, 
those apostles still went out there, including Paul, an apostle, and preached that Jesus is the Son of God. Are you going to believe it? Or do you want to take the scriptures into your own interpretation and say he's the Father? Let God be true. Let Jesus be true. Let the word of God be true and let you and your interpretation and your thoughts be a liar. I believe Jesus and so should you.